everybody! My name is Alisa and welcome to my channel. I will be making videos related to motherhood, lifestyle and beauty, so stick around! Today's video is about baby's essentials. What newborns really need the age from 0 to 3 months. When I was 6 months pregnant, I had no idea what to buy. I was so overwhelmed by the amount of the baby products that are in the market and also I didn't know what to put for my registry. I didn't even know that I needed to have a registry. So one thing that really helped me was to watch a bunch of YouTube videos and get lots of great ideas about what babies actually need. So that's why I decided to make my own video to show you guys what really worked for us. So if you are an expecting mother or you are a new mom and didn't buy all these products in advance or if you are buying gifts for your friend, please stick around here, it's going to be interesting. My baby is 4 months old, her name is Adriana and now we know at this point what we actually really like. So let's get started! Cheers! The first category is clothing. Make sure that you have enough clothing for 0 to 3 months old age. Don't buy too many newborn size clothing because obviously babies grow fast, but don't make the same mistake as I did because I had no newborn clothing. And when my baby was born, she was around 7 pounds, 14 ounces, 0 month clothes was kind of too big on her. So my husband had to rush to Walmart to buy several dresses for her. So my recommendation is to have several newborn size onesies and then uh, three months also. Onesie is a very, very important item in the newborn wardrobe because it is so comfortable, it is made of cotton and in the, on the bottom it has those little clips that if you need to change your diaper, you uh, just unclip them and you don't have to take this whole thing off. Okay. Also, make sure that you plan on what season your baby is going to be born in. For example, my baby was born in October and by the time she was around 3 months old, it was already January. So it's a cold season and I had only short sleeve onesies. So you have to kind of think in advance about stuff like that. I wish I had more long sleeve onesies, but this is all dependent on the season. So your baby has a onesie. Another item you will definitely need to match onesie with are the pants. Pants should be with footies. I really recommend using pants with footies. These are little socks that are attached to the pant because babies lose socks all the time. So this is a very convenient item. You just put it on and the baby is ready to go. But if you have pants that don't have footies attached to them, you will definitely need socks. These are two kinds of socks I would like to talk about from the same brand, which is Carter's. You can see that this sock is something I would recommend because this sock has elastic band attached to them. So this band is what keeps the sock on the baby's foot. While this one looks very pretty because it's like a folded sock, however, it just slides right from the baby's leg. So make sure you don't buy lots of socks like that. Because I have tons of them. One of the most talked about items is pajama. Pajama is a very important item for a newborn because your newborn babies will be sleeping for the most part of the day. So you have to make sure that pajamas are comfortable for the baby but also are convenient for you. So that's why I recommend using pajamas that have zippers on them. No clips, no buttons, nothing like that. You just zip your zipper down, change the diaper and zip it back up and baby is ready. Okay. I personally don't really mind those uh, clips, however my husband for some reason hates them and my mom too, so 
I guess zippers are much better. Another sleeping item you can use is a sleeping gown instead of pajamas. This sleeping gown is very convenient because it is open on the bottom and you can just easily get access to change bumper. However, this is something I ordered in Amazon. It's from Little Me brand and it says this is from 0 to 6 months old. This thing is huge. We are using it right now. My baby, like I said, is four months old. However, for a newborn baby, she, she just going to drown in this type of gown. So if you want to buy a gown, make sure it is small enough for your baby to wear it. And of course, if your baby is born in colder season, you will need some outerwear so you can go for a little walk with your baby. Um, personally, I think the outerwear with buttons work better than the zippers because um, I noticed that my baby had um, a zipper right touching her chin area and I don't think it was kind of comfortable, so I prefer buttons. Hats. You don't need a lot of hats for your baby. Just buy a few. The problem is that you can never predict how big or how small your baby's head is going to be and hats are very different like for example there are some hats that are very wide and shallow at the same time so by the time your baby's head is big enough to fill all the space this is going to get right off your baby's head because it's not deep enough okay so uh, something to keep in mind mittens is another item that you don't need to buy i had two of them and I didn't use them at all. If you're afraid that your baby is going to scratch his or her face, then just clip your baby's nails. Do not buy mittens because again, like just like socks, they come right off the baby's hand. The diapers that our hospital used were Pampers Swaddlers in newborn size and this is something we really liked and this is something we went with after we came home. We did try a couple other diaper brands like for example diapers from Costco or Huggies or Pampers Aqua Pure but somehow we always come back to Pampers Swaddlers. Wipes is another item that you will definitely need and you will use a lot, especially in the beginning. We use Aqua Pure from Pampers brand. We did try other brands like, for example, water wipes, but we didn't like the packaging of water wipes. As you can see here, it's very easy to open, take one wipe if you need one, and then close it back. In Water wipes, it was just like a sticker and when you want to take one wipe out, the other five come, comes right after that one. So this is something I recommend because also it is 99% water, just like water wipes. They're cheaper and they work for us. Even if your baby doesn't have a diaper rash, it is still recommended to use some sort of a diaper cream to prevent the rush, we use Aquaphor healing ointment for babies and this thing is amazing. It's a very thick consistency sort of lotion that you just apply it on the baby's bum and we never had any issue with a diaper rush. Also, it will work if your baby has some sort of um, drier skin areas, you just put it right on them and a couple hours later, I promise you, the skin is going to be smooth again. You will need a space where to change the diapers. For that, I bought a special uh, changing pad with a changing pad cover and I have it uh, in, in her nursery. However, we barely use it or we almost never use it because my baby in the beginning didn't live in her nursery. She slept in our bedroom. So, of course, in the middle of the night, I'm not going to rush into her nursery to change her diapers. So, I was changing her diapers in my bedroom. 
So for that I used those bamboo changing pads and they are wonderful. So these are from Amazon, they are called ILUV Bamboo. They came as a package of three. So one side has a very soft sort of material and another side is a waterproof material. So you just place this pad on your bed and change your baby's diaper. And even if um, an accident happens during the baby's diaper change, nothing is going to get into your bed. Okay. The only recommendation is that don't use this side for the baby, even though I know it is for, for the baby because it's soft, so baby feels comfortable. However, if this thing gets stained, it's very difficult to get the stain out of. So I put place my baby right on this side, and if something gets dirty, it's so easy just to get rid of the stain. You will need some sort of a diaper pail. I use Ubi money saving diaper pile in my room and I am in love with that thing. I spend more money on it compared to other brands, however, it doesn't smell. This thing is great in terms of concealing the smell and it looks great. So my diaper pail is in like beautiful mint color and it really matches, as you can see, this whole um, color scheme of her nursery room. The third category of my video is about sleeping. Of course, every baby will need his own or her own crib, but my baby didn't sleep in the crib for the first two months. Instead, my baby slept in Dogatot. Dogatot is an amazing invention. It is very pricey though, but it is really lifesaver. So my baby was sleeping in it between me and my husband and we had peace of mind that my baby is protected because we couldn't roll over it because this, those two things protect the baby from the parents. Also, the baby feels very cozy inside because it's very snug. Another thing about this that is a breathable thing. So even if your baby is facing one of the sides of Dokotot, it is going to be perfectly safe. Like I said, this is a pretty pricey item and it comes with multiple cover colors and the cheapest one is white but I wouldn't recommend buying it in white color because, you know, babies have accidents in the night and um, it's very difficult to get out of the stains from this material. It's a pretty thick cotton material. So even after washing this, you would still see some stains. Um, so having some sort of pattern really helps. Of course, you will need something to cover your baby with and swaddling blankets work perfectly fine. This is the swaddling blanket I really like. It is made out of bamboo and it's by Life Tree brand. I was actually giving this blanket to me. Um, I like it much more than regular cotton blankets. Another thing, don't buy a million of swaddling blankets. In every YouTube video I saw that, oh my god, I use it for everything. I mean, yes, you can use it for many things, but how many things do you do, actually? So I think I use maximum four of them, so there's no need to buy thousands of them. Another option is to buy a swaddling blanket that has um, Velcro, and this one will be much stronger. Um, baby will not be able to get out of this. The problem is that my baby didn't like to be swaddled, so we didn't really use this much and uh, this one is by Swaddle Me and you can see it's a very very small size blanket so um, it's gonna work only maybe for the first month of baby's life and then you have to move to a different size and of course eventually you will have to buy a crib so for the crib you will need crib mattress and a couple sets of crib sheets um, I think I have three I 
don't really uh, change them that often so I think two would be enough and talking about sheets uh, make sure as an adult that you have a spare set of sheets because believe me the first two weeks of your baby's life you will spend the majority of your time in your bed and things will happen there so it is really really recommended to have another set of sheets that you can just get and you don't have to go and do your laundry and wait till the, the sheets dry and put them back on. You will be changing baby's diapers during the night and definitely you will not want to put the big light on to wake the baby up fully or to maybe wake your husband up. So you will need a night light and the night light we use is from Hutch brand. Hutch is great night light and also it is a noise machine so you see it has a speaker on top and it has different uh, sounds that you can put uh, for your baby um, it has different colors and you can also change the brightness and you can change the volume of the noise and the best thing about this is that you can connect it through Bluetooth to your phone and I don't even use these buttons I control it from my phone um, I think it's worth $50 that they paid for this. The fourth category of my video is about bathing. Of course, everybody pictures a baby having a bath in its own little cute baby bathtub, but I actually did not buy a separate bathtub for my baby. I bought Angel Care support seat. So this is something you put inside of an adult bath and um, is great product because it doesn't take as much space as a separate bath for the baby. You just have to wipe it down and it's ready to go. It also has some sort of a non-slippery protection here. So it's just very, very easy to use. Of course, you'll be standing on your knees to give your babies a bath. So a baby nailer is another must-have and something you might not think of. This one is by brand Skip Hop and this one is amazing, it's very soft and it's pretty cute looking. You will need a rinser for your baby. So this one is just from Walmart from brand Parents Choice but you can find the one that matches the baby nailer with the whale design. Of course, you will need a body wash and shampoo. So we are using one from Honest right now. This one is with a sweet almond scent and it smells really good and it's not too overpowering, which I like. I feel like it fits the baby product very well. And for the baby lotion, we are using Infant Soft Plus Light Moisturizer by Baby Gannics and this one is fragrance free. You will need a towel to wipe your baby after the bath. We are using the one that is made of bamboo. Um, this one is by Lucilla brand uh, from Amazon and it's really soft, really like it and has a cute face of a sheep here. And also we have another similar one with the face of a bear and um, all you need is really two towels and they are a little more expensive than regular cotton ones but I feel like they're worth the money. And of course to give your babies a bath you will need a washcloth and you can buy um, different brands and essentially it's the same thing. I don't think the quality will vary much. Um, this one is by Birth Bees, but you can buy any and it will work fine. So we use this for baby spot and also I use them to wipe my baby's face in the morning. Obviously it will all depend on if you're nursing your baby or you're giving your baby formula. I'm a nursing mother and I will be talking about the essentials that I needed. So as a working mom, I was going back to work around 12 weeks of my baby's life, so I really needed to have a breast pump. 
right now I'm using a Midella Advanced Pump and Style Pump. Um, I will be doing a separate video on breastfeeding essentials and pumping essentials, so make sure you watch this video as well. So my mom is feeding my baby a pump milk in Nook bottles. These are the only bottles that my baby liked. It has a special nipple and that mimics a breast nipple while breastfeeding. So it's a little squashed here. And this one is amazing because it was in, on clearance in Walmart and this is much cheaper than other brands that my baby actually did like. And of course you will need some sort of brush cleaner and the brush cleaner that we use are from Munchkin. So this part is for the bottle and this bottom part is for the nipple. So it goes right inside here and this sticky part just gets stuck to your countertop. You will need some sort of a soap, dish soap and the soap I'm using is by Dapple and this one is fragrance free and I feel like this it will be the safest for the baby. You will need to sterilize the baby bottles and also uh, pump parts if you use breast pump. So for that I use Philips Amen sterilizer so you put all your parts and bottles inside and then pour some water close it and put it in the microwave for several minutes and steam will do its job i heard that other people really like using those um, plastic bags that you put in the microwave i haven't tried them but maybe this is something you want to try so it is recommended to air dry the bottles and for that you will need some sort of a drying rack so the bottle dryer that i use is from boon grass this is amazing drying rack you just place all the bottles and the pump parts on top and water will go through and then you can just separately clean this bottom part i also have another drying rack for the baby's bottles by munchkin brand and uh, that one is kind of different but i think it works also since I'm a breastfeeding mom, I purchased a special breastfeeding pillow. This one is a bobby pillow. Everybody has those. I actually kind of liked it, but I remember I had some difficulties with breastfeeding in the beginning. So I had to invite a patient consultant and she told me that she doesn't really like using bobby pillows. So since then I kind of stopped using this pillow she just told me that I should use um, like some sort of a blanket or regular pillow for baby's head support but we still use this pillow um, just to put it under the baby and now she's uh, learning how to sit up and this one is actually a great purchase babies will speed up and drool a lot so around two months old maybe start to drool so much and you will definitely need to wear cloths um you can buy uh, different sorts of brands this one is by bird bees and i actually like it a lot because it's pretty smooth material unlike this one which is by gerbers i don't really like because it's made of a flannel material and it's not as smooth it's kind of rough so i feel like it's not really good for my tender baby skin but um i still use it because we need them a lot another category of my video will be about grooming so you will need to trim your baby's nails but please don't use baby clippers use nail file nail files are the best for this purpose because with a clipper i almost cut my baby's finger and oh my god that was scary the one we're using is by baby frida and i ordered a set of them from amazon and we really really like them my baby was born with very long nails because she was one week after my due date and I'm very glad I took this one 
to the hospital. You will also need a baby comb to brush baby's hair, of course. And see, my baby is a mixed baby, so she was born with a lot of hair, unlike me when I was a baby. So I wasn't expecting for my baby to have that much hair, so I didn't take this comb to the hospital. And this is something I really regret. This is by Safety First Friend. It came with another sort of um, airbrush, but that one we don't use because I think it's more for a shorter hair. And also you will need a thermometer to measure your baby's temperature in case you feel like your baby might have fever. What I ordered is from Amazon and it is a digital thermometer so you can use it on, on your baby's forehead or in your baby's ear. When it comes to laundry, you really don't need much. All you need is a free and clear detergent. You can buy a baby detergent, but those are pretty pricey and you use it only for baby clothes. So we are using Tide Free and Clear and I use it for a baby and adult clothes. I read somewhere that it's not recommended to use a softener for baby clothes, so I don't use it. And I use Free and Clear Bounty Dryer Sheets for the dryer. And for the last category, which is travel, you will need stroller and car seat, of course. Those are very pricey items and it's a very good idea to tell somebody to buy it for you. So in my case, I'm very happy that my parents were able to purchase them for me. The one I picked is by Evenflow brand. It's called Pivot Travel Modular System. And it comes with a stroller that has a bassinet in it and also a car seat that you can put on a stroller base. So the car seat is for a newborn baby up to 35 pounds and it's, it's a pretty good one. And it also comes with um, like some sort of insert that goes inside of car seat for smaller size babies and so you don't have to buy separate ones. So in order to go somewhere, you will need to have a diaper bag and the diaper bag that we have is by Land Brand and it's from Amazon. I got it my baby from my baby registry. It has lots of different pockets and it's, uh, I don't know, we're pretty happy with it. So we're using it all the time. We go somewhere outside. And the last item I'll be talking about is a baby carrier by Infantino. It's called Carry On Multi Pocket, I think, baby carrier. And this thing has been a lifesaver for me because when I was on maternity leave, I was alone with my baby and I needed to get some basic things done, like for example, prepare a meal for myself. So I used it a lot. Um, my baby really liked being in it because she's close to her mom and she gets rocked by my movement so she was falling asleep in it all the time this one is around 50 dollars and this one is half the price of those pricier uh, ergo baby or other uh, famous baby care brands i think this works for me i didn't want to spend a hundred dollars on the baby care this one was a great purchase and this is it for this video. Thank you so much for sticking around till the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure you like the video. All the items that I mentioned, I will provide the links for them down below. And I'm planning on making more videos in the future. Like for example, videos about breastfeeding and pumping essentials, a infant, items that didn't really work for us and also pregnancy clothing related videos what actually worked for me and if you are pregnant right now i think it will be a very helpful guide thank you so much cheers goodbye